Hi, welcome back to Project 128. Today we're going to be showing you, we have um, the timers that we're using. These are the Torque 602A and they have um, two receptacles in it. I've had several questions from people which ones are we using and then also how do we set these. And I looked online and a lot of times the ones I can just find are just showing you the timer, a few switches flipped and say hey that's how you do it. So we're going to go ahead and take you through the process of actually how we set these and uh, show you how it's done. And again, if you have any questions, make sure you shoot us off any questions and as we get the opportunity, we'll go ahead and do videos that will explain what we're using and how we're using it as best we can. Again, if you have any ideas that can improve what we have, please feel free to share those. We're always looking to improve and we're always, we're experimenting with a lot of different things. So if you have any ideas, please feel free to share your ideas with us and if we can incorporate them, we sure will. If it makes our systems better, we'll go ahead and uh, make sure as we build and do things that we'll go ahead and design the changes that help us out. So we'll go ahead and show you how this timer is done. Okay, this is a close-up of our torque timer that we're using. And you can see this is the one, again, it has two receptacles on the bottom and it comes with a spring-loaded plastic cover that's gonna protect this from moisture and dirt. When you use this, we highly recommend that you plug this in to a GFI protected circuit, either protected at your circuit box or protected at the receptacle itself. Uh, since these are being used in an area where there's water with your hydroponics, aeroponics, aquaponics, or your tower garden, we want to protect ourselves as well as our equipment from any electric shocks and electric dangers. The features to point out, we lift open our, our lid there, is this first arrow here, that's going to point to the current time that we have and we can turn our dial. This arrow shows you the direction you'll want to turn your dial and also which direction the dial is turning as it's operating. And right now this is about seven o'clock and if we wanted to move this say to nine, we just turn the dial clockwise until that arrow points to nine. And then what we're going to do is, is these are little individual dip switches and it's set for 15 minute intervals. So if we push one out, that would be on for 15 minutes. If it stays in, that would be off. So you can adjust these in 15 minute intervals any way you want. During the daylight hours, we usually have ours operating 15 minutes on, 15 minutes off. So we'd have one up, one down, one up, one down, one up like that. And we also recommend that you invest in a little screwdriver like this. Um, uh, electronic technicians call these tweakers and you can pick these up at Radio Shack, Walmart, Lowe's, Home Depot, or get them on Amazon. If you, I know some people have used toothpicks. The problem with the toothpick is if it breaks and that piece of the tip of the toothpick falls in here, that can jam your dial. It can also jam this to where you can't use that dip switch, move it back and forth. And it's real hard to try to get something like that out of here. And you don't want to burn up your timer. Um, if you have good fingernails and, you know, good fingers, you can get in there and you can, you know, probably get these to go up a little bit harder for me, but uh, it can be done. And again, if you want it on for 30 minutes, you would just put up two together side by side. If you want off for 30 minutes, you would make sure the next two are both down. So any, again, any increment of 15 minutes is what this is going to handle for you. And um, again, this will plug into a three prong receptacle. Always make sure you use a receptacle that's grounded, one that's GFI, and that you protect your system. When you hang this, it has a little loop on here for for hanging it so you can hang it and that way this is always pointing down so that no moisture will get into your receptacles. There you go. This is the Torque TORK602A timer. You can get that through Amazon.com or you can get it through hydroponic stores, eBay. Um, it probably runs about $16 to $18 uh, for this unit. Um, if you go ahead and order a couple of them, you get free shipping through Amazon. So that's usually what we do. We order a couple of time. Always keep one on hand as a spare because if these things burn out, you want to be able to replace it in your system uh, quickly. If you have any questions, please feel free to send us your questions. If you have ideas or comments how we can make our systems better, please feel free to share those. If you have any ideas for videos you'd like to see, go ahead and send those. And uh, we'd like to go ahead and keep doing new and fresh ideas on our videos. But if you have something you'd like to see, go ahead and submit us that idea so we can go ahead and look into that and make some new videos for you. Again, we have a Facebook page. Go ahead and uh, like and follow us there. Like this video if you want. 
go ahead and follow us on YouTube. We have a web page with a blog. You can follow us there. We also put still pictures and some additional information that maybe we just didn't have time for or that it's a little bit easier to go ahead and type up and put in the blog. So go ahead and check out our blog too, and we appreciate it. And until next time, happy gardening.